Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Virgos. And this is going to be for the week of the 29th of October to the 4th of November, 2023. So... Let's see what messages. I know I'm not putting that one down. Let's see what messages we have for you guys. I'm going to have my friend come on here. Um, I'm going to tag him. He's an astrologer. Me and him, we are going to go live together. We're making a plan and we're going to, I'm going to set up a video and let you know everything that needs the, about the date and time and everything. But he's an astrologer, and we're gonna go. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna do some. He's gonna do astro some astrology. He's gonna do some astrology readings, and then, you know, then we do a couple cards. I'm gonna tag him in this video. And guys, if you would like to go and subscribe to his channel, please do, and click the bell so you could be notified too. Okay, because he does do live astrology readings as well. If um. If people are interested, you know, while he's live, he will do it. And he's very, he's very detailed. All right. So I do know that he does some of that on his, on his lives. So Virgo, this is for you. The Queen of Earth, there you are. The money manager. The Nine of Earth came into some money not too long ago. You started seeing some dollars. The Nine of Fire, don't give up. You're very resilient. Have courage and believe in yourself. The Page of Water, a new pe person enters your life, a relationship. That begins a new phase. The four of air, time to take a rest. Allow more time before making a decision. The four of air, now you might be in thought, deep in thought as well. Maybe you're just contemplating something. The three of air, sadness is upon you. You're feeling sad. What's going on, Virgo? Why are you sad? You got the hermit, you feel alone. Or are you doing some soul searching? Because once you start doing that soul searching and you start finding yourself, you'll figure out and you'll find out you're no longer alone. Ha! <laughs> Serious. Then life experience, a significant event that's going to need your immediate attention. A powerful revelation that leads to change. The emperor. That could be a fire energy in your environment. That could be an Aries. Or maybe you're feeling pretty stable and logical and everything is working out for you. You know, I mean, not too long ago, it seems like you came into some money. On top of the Queen of Earth. Just stretching my back. On top of the Queen of Earth, we got the Three of Water, which is about a celebration with friends. We got the Justice card. There was some kind of celebration. There was some kind of... um. Something was um, made clear to you. Caused a little um, chaos and confusion. Might have been an argument not too long ago. Might have been an argument. We got the Three of Water. We got the Justice card. And we have the Transformation card. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. No, we don't have that. We have the Empress card. We have the Three of Water. And we have the Justice card. That's what we have. On top of the Queen of Earth. So abundance. And then I, I will pull this card here. Transformation card. Because it did come out. 
Um, so there is abundance. There's some kind of celebration that you had with your friends. It might have had something to do, something legal that came in your favor. Whatever it was, be grateful, okay? It was a little more than you had before. Or maybe a lot more, depending. So we got the Empress, we have the Three of Water, and we have the Justice card above you, the Queen of Earth, the Money Manager. And then there's a transformation going on here. Some kind of realization, change, chaos, confusion is going to make you go deep in your head here, but you're going to have mental clarity. You're going to do a lot of thinking and you're going to be self-absorbed. Um, just don't get lost and caught up here, okay? If you find yourself getting caught up here, go take a walk. Read a book. Do something opposite to what you would usually do. All right? And you're going to have mental clarity. You got the ace of air. That's about mental clarity. So whatever you're absorbed about, and it's probably because of this towel moment, you know, this transformation moment. Um, you will feel emotional, and, you know, maybe that's most likely why you're in your head. Transformation. The four of water and the ace of air. But remember now, in life, sometimes, well, this is past energy. Things have to break down in order to be built, rebuilt stronger. So don't think of, of anything leaving or anything causing chaos and confusion and breaking down and stuff as the worst. It feels like the worst when you're going through it. But there's something you're going to learn from that situation that's going to make you feel better. So we got the nine of fire on top of the nine of fire. We got the renewal card. We got the hermit. You're gonna do some soul searching. You're gonna start doing. You're gonna start a healing journey. I got the renewal card. I got the hermit, and I got the strength card. You're gonna have mental clarity. Whatever it is, is gonna motivate you into going on a journey, a journey of finding yourself. That's what I feel. We got the renewal card. We got the hermit, and we got the strength card. And you're gonna find your inner strength. You're very resilient, don't you forget. Benjamin. Thank you. And we got the page of water. A new person entering your life. Or a relationship begins a new phase. You got the six of water. You got the balance card, which is about self-control and moderation. And you have the world card. Whatever it is that you got to balance and moderate is something from the past. Or find, yeah, or find moderation and balance. Um, it might have something to do with that transformation moment not too long ago. Whatever it is, though, you do achieve it. And that's above the um, page of water. You, water. You need to start using your intuition, okay? That page of water is also saying that you do have the gift of intuition and you need to start using it. You got the six of water, you got the balance card, and you do achieve balance. And you got the word world card. So you successfully accomplish that. Then we got the four of air. Oh, my nose is itching. It's time to take a rest or a vacation. I got the emperor, I got the seven of water, and I got the wise counsel. The emperor is an Aries. Seven of water is about choices. Don't take too long, okay? And then, <laughs> which one, what to do? Because you might miss an opportunity, okay? And all them doors or, or choices are going to close. However, there is something you learned. Something about this Aries energy here. This emperor. Because you got the emperor down here. There is definitely an emperor in your environment. That emperor is thinking that he has some choices. Or, or she, he. You know? However it resonates with you, okay, babies? Hmm. This emperor got some choices. But you too wise, you learned your lesson way back in the day when you had that chaotic time. That's what this is. This is about the past. Maybe you not. Maybe the past is going to help you find some kind of balance somewhere. 
But the emperor is definitely an energy. It's the Aries. I stand by that. And this will resonate with some and this will not. And it's okay. Because not every reading is going to be for every single solitary body. You might find little bits and pieces in each one, okay? And please remember, these cards are not etched in stone. Mm -mm -mm. Are you going back to court with it? Hmm. You learned a lot from this energy. You learned a lot. Oh, you learned a lot. That energy broke your heart and everything. It broke your heart. It got you all within yourself. You had to make take time to recuperate from it. The emperor, the seven of water, and the wise counselor. And why are you thinking about this stuff now? Because you're thinking about it. I got the six of water there. You're thinking about the past. Good memories about the past. Back home, we'll say, what you got, typey? <laughs> we have different levels of love in my country, and one of them is Taipei. Then they got one, right? There's one that I can't remember what the name is, but it says it's to the point where the man, he's so in love that he's even washing on the garments and stuff. I can't. Guyanese have a, a sense of humor that's out of this world, okay? Our sense of humor, many, many people get offended by it. You know, I remember when I was married, my ex-husband was like, that's so disrespectful, but it wasn't. It was the way we talk and we laugh and we joke, you know. We just play with each other, we talk. We have a very different sense of humor from many, um, many other cultures. And some of the times when I look at things that they find funny, you know, my friends, I look at them like, what's going on here? I didn't get that. But anyway, you learned a lot from this situation here. You got the three of five, you got the four of five, you got the ace of five. You got a lot of creative power in you. Whew. Your visions are expanding. You're finding um, balance. And there is some kind of new opportunity, some creative new opportunity being avail is coming available to you. You got the three of wands, you got the four of wands. You got the three of fire, the four of fire, and the ace of fire above the three of air. Now, this here, you do know that the energy has caused pain and they probably cheated and all that stuff. But no matter what, even though you're thinking about what about the past and about this energy, the emperor, the Aries, um, there is there you're still moving, you know, you're still carrying on. Just make sure you don't stick there okay you got some new opportunities and hermit now you might be alone you might be single but i had one here saying about a relationship begins a new phase a new person entering your life you're doing some soul searching maybe you're learning some meditation learning to breathe you got the four air Couldn't help that one. The four air, you're deep in meditation. You might be even recuperating from something. And you got the four air here as well. So there might be something that you're getting from this person, but it's taking a little while in coming. At least you've been thinking that. I think you're going to start receiving something now. You got the four of air, you got the six of earth, and you got the eight of fire. And it's coming pretty fast. I don't know if you're manifesting it. Then life experience. We got the ace of earth on top of that experience. This experience taught you something valuable. You hear me? You got the wheel and you got the knight of water. The Ace of Earth is about new financial opportunities. Promotions, coming into some money. Business, a whole bunch of stuff. You got good fortune on your side. And you might even have a little romance brewing here. Oh no, somebody watching you. Somebody, some, somebody keeping an eye on you. They're watching you. They're coming forward. and They're thinking about offering you, offering you something romantic. 
So we got the Ace of Fire, we got the Wheel of Fortune, or the Wheel, and we got the Knight of Water. You're coming into abundance, okay, or a new financial opportunity. It could be a promotion. Excuse me. Mm. Oy, oy, oy. That was a yawn. I felt this eye closed. <laughs> okay. All right. Financial opportunity it could be a raise, a promotion, it could be so many things, but it is finances that are coming in. And then you got the Emperor, you got the Seven of Earth, you got the Five of Earth, and you got the Eight, uh, the Knight of Air. Whew. Mm -mm, excuse me. The reason I can't stop now that I started. The seven of earth is an investment, something that you planted a long time ago. You're being very impatient. You feel like you don't have. You want it to grow. You want it to hurry up and come, you know. It's going to come, all right? You're going to have the communication. You're going to, you're determined, you're motivated, you're sure it's going to come. It's going to come from that fire energy. That energy gives you the mindset of lack, man. That energy left you tight, strapped. I got the seven of earth. I got the five of earth. To me, that's like nothing, emptiness. That's how you feel, how this energy left you. You feel like this energy left you without anything. And the night of air. And I really want to know why this is coming up now. And the night of air, air, you're extremely um, determined. You might be getting some kind of communication in regards to finances as well. Or you might be getting communication from that Aries. Mm -hmm. You want that? <sighs> no. Use your intuition. Even if you know the number is coming in, don't take it. <laughs> Here, why I say this, right? I'm saying this because it looks like it's going to be an argument. You got the night of air. Swords is already fighting. You know, we ready to fight. And we going to argue about it. The nicest sword card they have is the six of swords. That's things calming down your in your environment. The angel deck. They really make the cards gentle, you know what I mean? But some of these cards do have some very harsh meanings. So, the Knight of Air is a sword, right? So that could mean argument. You got the mindset of lack. You got the seven of earth. You feel like you don't have. You ready for an argument. And it might be an argument with that emperor. But you got the eight of air here. You got the four of earth and the high priestess. I think in the long run, you're going to use your intuition, man. You ain't going to argue with nobody. <laughs> Excuse me. I say use your intuition. You ain't going to argue with nobody. I got the five of air right after I said that. That's arguments. But whatever it's going to bring, I don't know if this communication is something that should be done. And maybe it'll, it'll ease things down a little bit. Maybe they'll calm things down in your environment. I'm not sure. Only you would know that. Um, and then you got the dream. And there's a new beginning in, in store for you. Okay. A new beginning in what? Let me put one more card. Finances! I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Okay. You will be getting some money from this person. I think this per Okay. Here's the last part. This person is thinking about you. They are angry at themselves because of what they did. That they should never have treated you the way they treated you. That's what I got. And that's the emperor. 
he is regretting the way he treated you. He left you basically penniless, so to speak. That's the feeling I got. He's thinking of you. He's thinking about everything. He's thinking about the arguing and, and the separation. He's thinking about the arguing and he wants a new beginning. But darling, it's you who's going to have the new beginning. You hear? He can want all what he wants. You are going to have a little conflict in your environment. You're going to have a new beginning. And you're going to come into some finances. Okay? This card is usually about enough. It's about prosperity. Enough to take care of you and take care of your family. All right, my darlings? I love you all dearly. You know, I have a good, good, good week. A great week. A peaceful week. A week filled with wisdom and love and joy. And a whole lot of happiness. And I will chat with you guys soon. And I will let you know about my friend, okay? When we're going to come live. We're going to do it. We've been talking about it a lot. I love you guys. You take care. And we will chat soon. Bye.